guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're diving back into the a to z we're playing some hachiman adc and hopefully things don't feel terrible i'm on like 115 ping hachi adc which also seems to be just slightly climbing so <laughs> i'm a little scared for this one man it's been so long since i had to play on my old ping it's been so so long the last game was pleasant man i got a little warm-up game in i played on like 90 and that's not too bad, but so quickly. I know I talked about this in the Hurt game when we started getting back into East. Every, every 10 ping makes kind of a world of difference once you start getting up there. And so when we're adding three of those 10s, it's going to feel kind of bad. It's going to feel a little potato. This is not what I expected at all. They have an AMC. I assume that's who would be against. This man should be getting clapped, but now he's not playing the game with me. That sucks. That was probably a free kill, but we got follow-up by the time I had to dip because I was going to get murdered. So... I don't know. I don't know why I didn't just go in there. I feel like normally in spots like that, you don't even have to call attack because you just like attacked and they're right next to you. So you think it's obvious. <laughs> and then he, he wasn't paying attention for some reason. Okay. Yeah, round two? Round two. Unfortunately, we don't get the last hit, but that's okay. If he wanted to not last hit too, then it kind of like potentially maybe makes it a little risky. It's not like he just straight up yoinked it or anything. Yeah, well, we're off to a good start. Loki ADC maybe shouldn't have been the pick. Maybe it should have been the AMC ADC instead of AMC mid? Probably? Yeah, AMC mid. Their team's weird, man. I really, I feel like... Yeah, I guess their team's just weird. I didn't fully look at it. I still kind of assumed it'd be a different order than it is. Man, a 120 ping Hachi snipe's gotta be a great... Easy. Gotta be a great time. But, but hopefully it'll be hittable. As long as they're not getting too wiggly with me, I think we'll manage. It's mostly going to take some getting used to. You gotta love minion aggro, man. Every once in a while, you guys ever get that where you get pulled into tower and you kind of just shit yourself and then you realize there's still minions tanking tower so you don't get the tower aggro and you're just absolutely fine? Like, you think, oh no, I'm about to get deleted and then you're just fine and you just walk on out? It's always such a good feeling, man. So, Hachi is ridiculously good right now. I know we've had a few characters lately where I've been like, this god's pretty bad. Hachi's insanely good. Hachi, very much a meta ADC, an ADC that you're going to see a ton of. Either of us can pick it up, doesn't matter that much. Um, until he gets nerfed, which I'm trying to remember, I don't think he's actively getting nerfed right now. We can try going on the Sylvs since now he's doing it. I don't think it turns into anything. Oh, I didn't quite get the stun I wanted there. And visit on them minions, huh, Loki? But yeah, Hachi's ridiculous right now. Hachi very recently got a set of buffs where his passive turned into an actual passive. It used to just suck. It used to just be MP5. Now he gets attack speed out of it. And then also his one got buffed absurdly hard. And I'm pretty sure that's all they did. They might have like baby buffed his two or something. But that's what he needed, man. That's that's what he really needed. Because Hachi snipes didn't tend to feel quite worth having before. Um... At least recently, like they were maybe okay, but then the rest of his kit didn't make up for it. And so high res hit him with a huge buff and oh my God, does it make him feel good, man? It was, it was so ridiculous. So he went overnight from being one of the weakest hunters, just straight up. Like he just, there's not really a debate for it. He was one of the weakest hunters before the buffs to almost definitely just the strongest hunter. And, and that's with Marty still being good too. Now they're kind of different. Hachi's a very auto attack focused hunter. Marty's a very ability based focused hunter. But still, like just ridiculous. The very, very top tier gone out of nowhere. Um, so you're going to see a lot of him at the moment. But as we get deeper into the season, if people are watching this later on, maybe not necessarily that good. Oh, he's fighting it, huh? These minions are clapping me though. Wow. That sucks, man. I actually get a little bit trolled by the Maui ult there. Unfortunately, he walls me off. He ended up getting a shell anyways, and he either beads out or, uh, I'm trying to think, was his three up? Because his three won't let him get pulled by, by Maui ult if he's using it. But he used some sort of CC mune to get out, too. Yeah, that kind of sucks, man. Minions really got to clap in right there, which helped him a lot. But then also, Maui didn't put the wall down. Like, if he's going to go <laughs> if he's gonna go for that ult, he's got to instantly take the wall down so I have a chance to clean it up after, and he didn't. Which you can do, by the way, if anybody's, if anybody's confused. Trying to think, almost every wall in Smite at this point can be taken down, right? I guess, no, maybe not, maybe not. Emir wall can, Maui wall can, maybe that's really all there is. I mean, cab wall you can, like, break, but that's different. Can you take down Odin ult? I don't play Odin, that god's boring as hell. I don't even remember the last time I played that god, I hate him. 
Luckily, we don't have to play him in the A to Z for a while either. So let's go through the kit a little bit. Um, Hachi's a fairly jack of all trades type of hunter where we're kind of getting in up close with our potentially with our ult, but especially with our three, um, our two is pretty normal hunter clear ability. We have a stim on the two. We have a long range snipe on the one that also enhances our auto damage. Our passive basically just lets us auto more. Um, so kind of just does a decent bit of stuff. He's got some mobility. He's got some range. He potentially has some CC, although it doesn't tend to feel like a ton of CC because really the big standout CC is the stun on his three, which is a mid range ability, a very single target ability. You're not tending to use that in team fights aggressively. It tends to be more of a laning phase or like one V one ability. Yeah. You're trying to get sneaky on me, my man. <laughs> oh, Loki means they just never stop, man. How did that not hit you? How? How did my three miss? I mean, I'm sure the circle hit, but the, the stun part didn't hit. That sucks. We would have had so much, uh, probably not like quite kill, but we would have had a lot of potential to clap right there. Unfortunate, man. It's going to feel so weird playing against him being a Loki and all. He's going to move so different and stuff, but it should be easy enough. Don't think it's going to be much of a problem. If we do get like low and then ganked and Loki still has stuff, then we're in trouble. But like 1v1, I don't think I'm caring. And even for ganks, I don't think I'm caring. A lot of times it's just like, oh, Loki ult's coming. We ult. We're fine, right? Like, I think as long as I'm paying much attention. Oh, I wouldn't have been cringe. I might have been cringe. I, he's Loki. I don't know. I might be cringe right now. <laughs> Wait, oh, it bugged. Bro, high res, please. I was going to actually stop the bank. There was no bank animation. So I assumed he stopped the bank because I was about to snipe him. And he just was banking anyways. And it just stopped because I got high res. Is that somehow ping diff? Doubt it. I think it's high res diff. Should I stop saying that? Should I stop saying that from <laughs> from the company that I should want to like me? Maybe I should. All right. Uh, do we do anything here? Don't really have items to buy at the moment. Just a tier one. Like, who cares? I could go get wards. Wards might be good. I think we'll go grab smalls, though. So let's actually get into the kit a little bit. Kit's fairly simple for Achi. Nothing too deep that we have to dive into. Um, Hello. Why are you here? What is the point? Yep. Missed it anyways. Yep. Big Alquan gank. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Why did you do that, man? He did also just miss everything. So it looked worse than it could have been. But like best case, he does half my health. And then I just kind of clear under tower and bank. And then I'm fine because nothing's up because there wasn't any point in ganking there. <laughs> I'm going to back anyways. We're going to be full HP in bank. All right. I'll build. He might go mid. This guy's a Loki ADC. I have no clue what this psycho is going to do. I'm trying to let him know just in case. There's a there's a good chance he's looking to go mid. Because he's not getting to do anything over here. And he's not. Whatever, we're good. So, so let's dive into the kit a little bit. Hachi passive. When we're landing autos, we can stack these up to five times. We will get attack speed that scales with level. And we'll get MP5. It used to just be MP5, which made it bad. Then they gave it a tank speed, which is way better than the MP5. Who the hell cares about MP5? You're a hunter. You're a hunter and a non-ability based hunter at that. Oh, and we get a catch a little bit. Nice. That was pretty clean. I'm still, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble three in him. Normally Hachi three is really not that hard of ability. I really am. I'm getting thrown, man. I'm getting thrown. Loki ADC is too funky. Normally Hachi three is a lot more of like, oh, I'm boxing. Let me get just in range and then land it on you. And because they're autoing you back, it's a lot easier to land. And this guy's just running all over the place, trying to not be murdered and not succeeding. So it feels, it feels a little different. But either way, we still get to kill him there. He ulted way too early, too. He ulted when he was like half HP, didn't he? Right? Like he ulted in a spot where he definitely could have saved it a little longer and tried to play around with my ult. And he also should have been looking to ult over a wall, making it harder for me to ult. He shouldn't just be ulting down the lane. Hachi has a lot of trouble getting around walls with his ultimate. Like, uh, like if that ult clips a wall and there's somebody on the other side, like they're not going to get hit behind the wall. So definitely something to look for when you're looking to avoid that Hachi ult. Does make it a lot trickier. All right, so he doesn't have ult, so we're chilling. God, that damage, man. Can you get out of the way, minions? Come on. Thank you. Yeah, the Loki ADC is maybe not it. It is a pick you see every once in a while from the Loki mains. I actually don't know if this guy's a Loki main. I didn't pay attention to the game coming in. I was AFK doing things. I don't care. So, so I don't know if he just decided to try this anyways, or if he just plays Loki and he got ADC. Wait, how did... What? Why is... Why is my wave there? Am I just losing track of... What? How did this play out? 
I am so confused. My wave was way farther back than it should have been, right? Am I losing it? What? Did somebody aggro my wave? Why? <laughs> I'm actually so confused. I feel like my wave should not have been where it was there. Because it kind of felt like it felt like the wave catching up after I proxied or something. But like I obviously didn't proxy him. The hell happened? I might just be losing my mind. I don't know. Get these minions out of my face. Don't care, man. Oh, we hit him anyways. Sort of late on the hit, too. Alright, there's no point in ulting to catch him up or catch up to him here because his ult's gonna be back up as well. So we're not gonna worry about it. He is missing. I'm probably not gonna bother calling it because it seems so stupid for him to gank right now. Gank anywhere that's not me, that is. I mean, honestly, it's stupid to gank me too. So, yeah. I'm assuming you won't. I'm assuming we're good. I Means half HP would be a little weird. So we will get this done. We're going to be building meta for this, even though it's fun to do some other builds at the moment. We'll build meta. So we're just going to be going a lot of a tank speed and pen, basically. I have been seeing some death toll getting bought in SPL so far. Right now is the first day. I think it's the first day, unless I just missed the last day of the uh, play-in masters, whatever they're calling that tournament right now. The, the like, LAN for the split. Um, I've been seeing some death tolls. So I didn't want to build that because it's kind of a new thing that's getting built. Um, for cheese in my first game today, my little warm-up game, and naturally I built some Death Temper. I'm like, oh, they, they're liking it a bit, huh? Which there was recently a nerf to Cal, so it makes sense that they'd at least like it more. I'm still surprised to see it built, though. Um, because it has a little bit more power, but you're missing out on the attack speed that Cal gives. I feel like Death Toll still doesn't tend to look that good at the moment. I will actually call this missing. But, but yeah, I kind of want the cheese, man. I kind of want the Death Temper cheese and some crit and just have massive autos. That's always a fun time. Can stack it on with the Hachi Snipe buff, too. But we won't. We'll be good. I might go mid here, though. This looks really good. Okay. Man got very lost right there. Oh, that Snipe is chunkin'. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Bro, can you not shell? Should be okay here. Yep, we're chilling. Come on. Come on! Whatever. We take it a little tower. Ow! Can I not take a little tower? There we go. I do want to kill him, but I'd also like to not be dead. I'd also like to greed for small camps. Hmm. Let's not greed for smalls. Let's do the classic mast sell all wards. Why place wards? Even though I already have this game, so you guys can shut up about it. Okay? This time we're gonna do it. I placed them last time. All right. Anyways, let's get into the kit. I've been too distracted. Yeah, we stack up. Basically, just landing an auto on an enemy doesn't have to be a god. Can be a minion. We're getting these fat stacks up to five stacks. We get two percent attack speed plus 0.1 per level. So eventually, we're getting up to four percent at level 20 per stack, which means up to 20 percent from the five stacks. And then we also get MP5. Doesn't matter that much. Hachi's really not that man hungry. It's a little bit nice in the early game. Um, I probably, I don't remember if I actually did this this game, but normally on Hachi, because he has that MP5, I'll tend to build uh, multi pots over mana pots because I don't need the mana sustain as bad. That lets us get like one and a half health pots ticking sometimes, which is nice. That's just a little thing. It's not that big of a deal, but it's there. It's a little something. So we can move on to the one. Hachi snipes are potentially very good. They move at the same speed as normal snipe autos, unlike Ishtar snipes, which are a little faster. Unless I'm losing, my, right? They're faster, right? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know why. In, in my head, they're absolutely faster. It's been long enough since she came out. For some reason, I'm not actually picturing whether that's true or whether that's just me tripping. I do also build a lot of Griffin Wing on Ishtar. I feel her, her snipes are literally faster than normal, right? I think. But anyways, Hachi autos move at normal speed in those snipes. They have a lot of range. Um, so if we're just casting it like point blank, it's just going to be a normal auto that's enhanced, but we do have that extra range. I maybe should have just ulted in there. We might have actually been able to kill with the boys around because like he's going to have ult to escape and stuff. But we had enough people to cut him off. That actually might've been worth. I don't care that much though. He's not worth a ton. I'm pretty farmed. He's not as farmed. Um, so yeah, we do get a lot of range. How long is it? 80. Yeah, quite a bit. So right now, Hachi 1's ridiculous. It's probably getting nerfed very soon. I don't think they've actually publicized a nerf yet that I can remember. Um, but right now you are getting bonus base damage and 120% of your auto scaling. So an extra 20% compared to your normal auto scaling, which, uh, which is quite a bit and up to 60 base damage at max rank. You guys can level this before the three. If you want, I like to play pretty aggro and I feel like the snipes tend to be kind of hard to hit. So he's getting bold here, huh? <laughs> oh, poor Loki, man. This guy, this guy, have we had a spot yet where he wanted to go aggro and I didn't hit him while he's invis? 
and then he just regrets it. What's funny is I should maybe stop and just let him do it, because I don't see him ever winning a 1v1. We're just ahead. Like, not only am I Hachi who's good, but I'm also ahead. Oh, we don't get it. And if I if I ult him, he's just going to have ult. He can ult over purple wall if he's smart, which means we're never catching him. So I'm not going to bother committing. Let's go on bank. Let's get some pen. So yeah, there's really not that much to the snipes. We got four of them. Um, do you, start, you don't start with three, right? They used to start with three. I think they changed that recently. Cooldown goes down a little bit. They're really good. Ridiculously irritating autos. You don't have to use them for snipes. Normally, if you are fighting and you are expecting to land autos, um, you're tending to just pop that one. Every once in a while, it's worth holding it, but normally it's just, this is bonus damage to your autos. Bonus damage to your autos is good. That looks so weird. Oh, he's getting to Shardin too. I probably got too spooked there. I didn't want to run straight at him because I thought he'd delete. I don't know for sure how hard he hits. I think that was beads on him, right? Was it not? No way Loki keeps pushing, right? He is a Loki. I say he's a Loki because, like, <laughs> Lokis don't always have the most sense, man. <laughs> Loki players do like, to, do like to push their limits, for sure. They're awfully bold, that bunch. So let's move on to the two. The two's a pretty simple ability. Uh, we're throwing down a big, I guess not technically circle. It's like a hexagon, but like basically a big circle. Does a decent amount of damage, has a little bit of a deploy time, but not a very long deploy time. It's pretty easy to hit. Normally, normally if you're missing it, it's just because you're pushing the, the range of it a little bit and they're playing at that range. So you're missing it by a little bit because they're positioning well enough. Normally, it shouldn't really be tending to miss it other than that. It's uh, it's a pretty easy ability to land. It does good damage, up to 315 base. It starts with 95 base, which is really strong as well, by the way. It does sometimes suffer in terms of wave clear. A lot of hunter clear abilities tend to get a little more into like the 330, 350 range when it's really a strong wave clear ability. So sometimes you can get it in spots, especially if you're behind where it's not quite killing the archers and that can feel really bad. Other than that, it's just gonna be a good ability, easy to land. And you also get an attack speed stim off of it, which is two parts. So, um. I'm trying to actually, I, I need to remember how this works right now, because basically I remember when you throw it, you get a tank speed, and then if you go into the two, you get a tank speed. I'm trying to think if your teammates go in, that's how they get it, right? Right? Yeah. So basically, inherently, you're buffing your tank speed by 20%. If you walk into the banner while it's deployed, uh, we'll just go full meta build just to kind of represent right now. Although actually, for now, let's save money for Cal. Buy some words. Um, but uh, yeah, so if I throw this... We go up 20%. If I walk in, we go up another 20%. We can sit in it, last for six seconds. And if our teammates walk into it, they can get the 20% as well. So potential use for an attack speed or a buff. Normally, you don't care about buffing your teammates' attack speed. Normally, as a hunter, you're going to tend to be the main person autoing. If not, it's going to tend to be an auto attack assassin. Normally, an auto attack assassin is not exactly going to be sitting still in a banner. So mostly, you just care about buffing your own attack speed. But sometimes putting it at your feet is nice or intentionally moving up to it to get into it is nice for that extra speed. See if we can kill the AMC here. Loki's doing some split push stuff. Can you not have Aegis? Fine. Man, should just get a kill this, yeah? There's a lot of boys here. I don't know if I get away with this one. Don't really care about the Sylve. Oh, and I hit him in that. Man, got cl- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this guy's a little bit fed. Wait, he has like no items. What? What? How long has it been since you backed, brother? I was going to be like, he's a little fed. I guess he just played Alquang. My bad. My bad. He really... Is it bugging? 100 per auto, 150 per dragon. He had a 3 for 330. Yeah, okay. He, he did play Alquang. My God, man. Someone get me XP. They can't. Never mind. I'll shut up. <laughs> I love doing that, dude. I think it's so funny, even though I normally don't expect to be able to get it. By the way, it looks like Loki got absolutely farmed by a Janus snipe, I'm pretty sure. Respect. Um, yeah, whenever we're that sliver off, just be like, get me objective so I don't have to go. Oh, you know what? You boys better get this. Otherwise, I'm sitting in base for no reason. I could just walk out and go grab a, like probably one part of speed, but I'm just going to trust my team. Team? Team? Come on. There we go. There. Game? <laughs> Game? Hell. What? Hi, Res, please. Trying to buy items here, man. Um, yeah, so we can we can move on to their stuff. Let's talk about the dash. Hachi dash, very simple ability. 
Um, this song, okay, it's on quick. So we have this first part dash, and then we have the second part dash. If we land both, we will do both of their damages, and we'll get a stun. So basically, normally, if this is a, like a thing we're trying to stun, hang on, let me pop it like this. Boom! We'll try and dash through with that middle part, and then we'll tend to get a little bit past them, and then we'll land the circle part. And then they both do up to 160 base damage. I don't remember what the scaling is, but it's capable of hitting fairly hard. Um, and ideally in 1v1s, we're tending to look for that stun in other spots. We're tending to just use it more as a dash, if that makes sense. Vulcan sure got deleted. Surprisingly, this game's dead even right now. There goes a big Aegis. Really thought his one was up, so I played kind of back just looking to catch that. Oh, whoops. I thought he was actually about to get out, so I finally ulted. I didn't even want to ult. But whatever. Kill is kill. Excuse me, sir. God, I want some... Should we, should we go Griffin Wing? It's going to overcap my stance, too. I probably shouldn't. Although, I guess not if our, uh, if our passive's down. Although, we normally want to play around passive. Yeah, let's go Titans. Whatever. I won't go Griffin Wing. I'll go meta build. It's just so much fun, man. The speedy snipes. You got to love them. Surprisingly, the ping hasn't felt that bad. Ironically, I feel like I keep talking about ping more in these recent videos because like we are starting to play on East and I'm getting on way higher ping. I'm, I'm honestly talking about it more in anticipation than I am in, <laughs> in actual effect. It hasn't felt that bad. I don't know why either. I don't know. Maybe my internet's just... Are they doing it? They're doing it, man. Well, at this point, I'm feeling kind of committed. I don't think we get back there. Yeah. That was such a random FG call. Respect, though. Respect. A very good FG call. Because basically, we were over here for gold. We're not expecting them to just instantly do that, because that's really ambitious. We maybe get this. We probably don't. I don't have ult. Oh, it looks like they didn't back properly for this. I think I can get around him. Oh, he's doing a really good job. He's going to die, though. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to dip. Oh! Oh, that was that was actually probably going to clap him if that was able to work. All right, I don't want to get Al Kwonged, but if he invises on me, we're chilling. But I don't want to play it too greedy. Yeah, because they're going to rotate into this. Otherwise, I would. If it's if it's actually just a true 1v1, I would just commit. Even though he's Al Kwong and he's scary and I don't like it. Got a little bit of poke. I know Loki's looking to get in here. I have ult. Oh, okay. I don't know if this really turns into anything. Yeah, it's fine. We mostly just want to keep them from doing FG. So the final ability to talk about, because um, I think the three's pretty much already been summed up, is is just the ultimate. And the ultimate, I, I feel like it's kind of obvious what it does. Hang on. I'm a little busy here. Clapped. Can I not get monkeyed on? Hang on. Bro's about to get jammed. Oh. Janice, what? Why? Why did? <laughs> I thought it went through, dude. <laughs> I thought that was gonna get me through the wall. By the way, I forgot to bring it up. This guy's name, man. I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. This guy has the most bizarrely memey name. You know he has the most obscure sense of humor. Credit score 750 is one of those. You know how Reddit has some. I'm trying to think of a name right now. Some like bizarre, like. Like, people find the most specific little niche of comedy, and they make a subreddit to it. This guy's subscribed to, like, all of them. What a weirdo. I respect it. Um, <laughs> anyways, the ultimate. We get on the horse. We have a lot of freedom to move. We're CC immune. We're fast. Um, when we fire the shot, which we just kind of basically can do whenever we want, we do up to 45 base, almost 100% scaling. It'll slow. Slow scales with level. Not a very long slow, but it can be a decent slow. And then basically the big thing is just you have a very long range, potentially really strong uh, shot that you have a lot of flexibility to use that ability. Get a red pot here. That's really that's really all there is to it. Hachiman's a fairly simple god. Um, personally, one of my favorite gods in the game. I haven't been playing him up until the recent bus because he's been so bad, but he's actually really, really fun. Um, when he came out, I was very excited. I don't remember if I made a video on it, but I think I even talked on the channel about like this could be the best god that's, that they've designed. Um, because he's not something crazy. He's not like, oh my god, Hachiman game breaking or anything. Right now it feels like it because he's so buffed, but like kit wise, he's very easy to balance. Um, 
they just overdid it really, really hard and they haven't undone it yet for some reason. But, and even though he's not game breaking, he's just really strong right now. But he's just got such a cool fluid kit. He just feels really satisfying. You've got some close range with your three. You've got long range with the snipes and the ult. You've got flexibility. Like he just does so many different things. Oh, it's too bad. I think if he wanted to go on the monkey there. Could have done quite a bit. Ah! Uh, don't know where that Quan got to. Looks like nowhere. Oh, please, bro. Not gonna lie, I thought the dash would just um, automatically go right there. Gonna ult through this. Loki's gonna go on me here. Damn. That was bad on my part. I should have waited just in case. Oh, he's getting those minions in there. There we go. We got one. We got two. <laughs> that, those minions came in very clutch for being just random late game minions. Oh, does Vulcan somehow kill him? No. I'm assuming we're not going to be able to turn this into game. We'll put the banner down so that we can actually get a tank speed. This is something that, like, normally we're not throwing the banner that much for stim. Um, Tower Siege is just normally where it stands out. Tower Sieges and Buff Sieges, we will tend to throw that down and throw it down for our teammates as well. Because it does actually help quite a bit. Nice. Could maybe get left if we're feeling bold. But probably shouldn't be trying anything that bold. Do I have to stick around here? No, looks like we're good. I got a little scared they'd get clapped. Then Al Kong would just like blink on them or something. All right, we will finally upgrade this. Probably upgrade. Uh, I don't think I care about the beads that much. Yeah, do something like that. Red Pot still lasts a bit. Yeah, I played that fight too spooked, honestly. I think I should have made sure to wait for Loki to go on me before I dashed out. Because I could have played it a little more aggro. I'm trying to think. He went on Janus, right? And I was, for one thing, too focused on him going on me. I just kind of assumed he would, even though Janus is lower. Because I think he should have gone on me. <laughs> but if I held that dash a little bit, it would have been uh, a lot easier to play that fight better. I also didn't auto Wukong when I ulted on him. Because I thought he was in his ult because he moved like such a butt. I thought I just missed that. Because I ulted to get out of Loki ult, I didn't really care about hitting Wukong with it. So it's really, it's really funny. <laughs> if anybody, if anybody's wondering why, that was why. Because I just assumed he, would ult, he was ulting because he just kind of was like straight line walking around. I figured, let's not dump our autos on a, on a minion, right? And then he ulted right after that and I was like, oh. What's too bad? That they got gold? Who cares? What are they going to do with that gold? They're going to die with that gold. That's what they're going to do. Yeah. You get left. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Thanks. God, I wish... I wish I had Griffin Wing, man. Right there felt like some Griffin Wing snipes. Like, I don't need it for that, but... Hang on. There we go. That's why I did it. Oh, I didn't quite... Fuck him right now. I didn't quite get the stun on it, but who cares? He's dead. I wanted to peel for Janus there with the Alquang. Oh, hello! Goodbye. Oh. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. Can you not? Can you not? All right, we're going to try and get what damage we can here, which is not much. We got a dip. Unfortunate. Oh, I'm getting beezed. I think if I can heal up, please don't take, please don't take. Thank you. Thank you. If we can heal up, we can maybe do left. Are they just killing? Oh, not quite. See if they're down. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, we don't even need Osiris for it. I just got to be able to auto a little bit. Oh, and we got the bomb. I saw somebody type La Bumba in Twitch chat when somebody had gotten to bomb in, in SPL, and I felt so proud. There might have even been more. It was it was watching the VOD, too, so the chat was all scuffed. I was so proud. Like, please, please let La Bamba become <laughs> official nickname. <laughs> That's such a stupid name, but I love it, man. Nice. Well, that was a good Hachi game. I actually, I feel like I played that really well. Not because I'm 17 and 2, but... Because um, obviously the KD was good and everything, but I feel like we really mostly played it pretty clean. 
Like, I think the worst things ever got were just, like, not as clean and not just, like, throwing or anything. Like, everything everything stayed pretty clean all game, which is nice. We had a good late game. Like, obviously, the early game is going to be different and weird with the Loki ADC, but really what matters with ADC is the mid and the late, and we did really well in those. Did a lot of damage, too. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory Say, say, say my name And I've been trying to wrap my own story In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down